All right, so here's the uh, first episode of this 521 restoration. Just got this thing home a couple days ago. Trying to go through it all. I bought a rolling truck, uh, complete, minus a few little things. Um, came with a ton of extra parts, and it was stripped for paint. And uh, just going through it. Some things I've noticed, like this wheel is not the same as the other four, the other three, missing the spare. The front wheels are missing the races for the large bearing, so I'm trying to find one of those. It did come with a lot of brand new bearings, but um, the bearings it came with, now this one didn't fit, the other side did fit. And uh, looks like somebody put new brakes, and actually that one, I've got a bunch of new wheel cylinders, new hoses, looks like it has new shocks. Old kingpin style. Uh, the hubcaps are weird too on this thing. They should have been chrome, but they're not. They're actually like painted. I tried to take the paint off one of these and uh, never seen these that kind of hubcaps. They're not actually chrome, so uh, there's the stock heater. It's actually a little melted. Stock gas tank. Dash is in really good condition for 70. Just been, uh, been putting it back together to see what I got. When I bought it, it was gutted. I tell I have the steamer column. I just got that reconnected last night. I'm trying to put I put the drive shaft back in last night. Uh, I'm trying to put the parking brake cables and stuff back on. Obviously, I got to weld a hole over there on the floor. I just put the door handles back on. Door cards are in the back. Might as well show you that. Oh, the seat I threw back in, it's not bolted. Here's all the original door cards. They knew brand new ones of these, pretty cheap. I do need a jack rod and a jack. I'm missing that. The seat is actually not that bad. I think this is a shelf. I got the dome light. The glass is out, I got the glass. The steering wheel is like in perfect condition. The original steering wheel. Um, this floor looks really good actually. I don't think there's any rust in here, just that side. Uh, I put the wiper motor back in last night, mocking it up. This regulator was missing. I found it in the bottom of the door and I found the screws. And uh, I think I finally found the screws for these. I got the regulator back in. These are unbolted. I'm trying to find the screws that go in here. I don't even know what they look like, they're missing on both sides. The doors were never taken off, but they're partially disassembled. Looks like I'm missing a screw. And the hinge here. Uh, shuts perfectly. Um, there's no rust or anything on this side. The other one, there's a little rust in the fender. I got all the marker lights. I think I've got all four of those. I threw the bumper back on. Threw the grill back in. I got two grills. And I got two of these surrounds. I got two sets of buckets. I got four lights. I got a whole bunch of spare parts. My gas tank door, chrome, extra fan, extra motor mounts, extra glove box doors, extra alternators, and all kinds of parts. Um, still haven't found. I don't know what that is. I still haven't found the pin for the... So I got this wheel back together. Uh, got this side back together with new bearings. Greased them yesterday. Got the wipers on. I found some extra wipers. The motor appears to be stock L16. I'm trying to throw parts back on it. Just trying to see. I've got found the horns. It's got two sets of horns. Can't find the carburetor. I think that's the original brake master, original clutch master. It did come with an extra brand new clutch master and a brand new slave, but it already has a slave and a starter. It came with the original alternator and an extra one. Uh, the engine I think has been rebuilt or something. It looks like it's been painted. I found the oil pressure gauge in a box. I threw that back on to fill that hole. It does have oil in it. It's got points distributor. I found an extra one that's electronic. Um, let's see what else. 
I think I've got an extra coil. Got one radiator, found two caps, found a couple of original hoses, found two filters, no battery, gaskets, found all the clutch lines, just kind of mocking stuff back up, figure out what I have and what I don't have. Uh, the motor mounts are all loose, I'm putting all those bolts back in, like I need a hoses, found two fan blades, found two pulleys, found like three belts. Uh, does it even have a thermostat? Oh, it does have a thermostat. Nothing's really mounted. Everything is kind of disassembled or loose. So, uh, the hood's off. I found the bolts for the hood, though. I found the pin for the hood, but I haven't found the bolts for the hood. Got the windshield. I found the turn signals. Got the bumper on. Uh, underneath is pretty good. Hasn't been messed with. Um, the door, I do have the key and the dash right there. I love that dash. And it does fit the doors, or at least this door and that dash. It does work. It's kind of weird. These doors don't open very far. I need to figure out if I can uh, redesign that. I'm not real crazy about how far the doors open. I got the knobs back on this side. Seems like all the bolts are here. Oh, is the glass bolted on this side? Oh, it is. Okay, so the bolts, that's what the bolts look like. Okay, so they're only missing on that side. And that's the side that didn't have the regulator. Okay, so now I know what the bolts look like. I gotta find two more of those. Tried to put the gas pedal back on. I figure how that goes. I could have swore there was a big spring or something on my old 6, 620. Yeah, I got a little hole here in the floor. So I gotta weld that up. And I think this thing had air conditioning because there's a mount on the block. It had uh, cruise control and it had intermittent wipers and it had electronic ignition. I think there's the air conditioning mount. My 74 had air conditioning over here. Big old monster. York compressor. But I see the holes in the dash. So, um, yeah, that firewall needs to be painted. I found one emblem. I'm missing one emblem on the side. Other than that, the steering wheels are good. I found the bracket. I don't know if there's supposed to be steel on this or not. Or rubber, I mean, probably. I got the pedals. Yeah, I found the pedals. I got the mirrors. I'm assuming these are original. Pretty cool. Original little mirrors. I actually like these dials better than the other ones. I found the door handles. There's some around here. I do have the door handles. I do do have the door cards. Got the knobs. I got a. I got like three dome lights. I found the gas tank and this goofy cover thing. Extra training mount, extra drum brakes. I got two extra glove doors. I got no tail lights. No tail lights to speak of. I think they're like 50 bucks for a new pair. So I uh, got the exhaust, got the wiring harness. The fuse box broke, I think, when I was playing with it. I didn't get those new. Yeah. Here's some weird things that came. It's been lowered about five inches or four inches. Here's the original bump stops. I don't know what this is. I took this off the back. Anybody knows what the hell this is? This guy looks like Nissan welded nuts on it. I don't know if this is supposed to go. It was on here when I bought it, like like this, but it just doesn't look right. I don't know what the hell. So, using the tail lights bolt onto here and here. I guess I need to order a set. These are kind of all bent. And then the optional bumpers go on here. I'm going to order the optional bumpers. This looks like my 620. I love the angle, how this is angled. This is perfect. This thing is so much beefier than I remember my 620. The old H190. You can see it's got, I'm assuming those are four inch blocks. I need to measure them. It's got like some kind of overload springs. 
It's got the spare tire here. Well, that's different than the other ones. I'll have to make sure that fits. I need to get a spare. I've got only brake line rubbers. Uh, yeah, let's go underneath. Oh, a little stock under here. Stock training. It's kind of a weird drive shaft. I know my old ones had center support bearings, but this one has a slip shaft in the back. Uh, instead of in the training, I don't remember any of my dot. No, none of my Dotsons had that. Or my old trucks. This thing does not have a slip shaft in the training. I've never seen a, any dots in that way. The slip shaft is up here in the front, in the rear shaft, kind of like my 724 wheel drive was like this. So this is really unique because all my old Nissan trucks, they're typically two piece with center support, even my hard bodies, but they never had, they always had a slip shaft up there. Except for my 724 wheel drive, it had a slip shaft on the rear. This is kind of like my 724 wheel drive shaft, kind of. Now the torsion bar is unique compared to all my old 62720, D21s, whatever. The torsion bars are on a cross member that unbolts. Pretty sure they're normally on the cross member that's welded in. So the cross member next to it is welded in, but the one that torsion bars is on is a bolt on. It's got some weird square bolts on it. And here's the aftermarket uh, cruise control sensor. Get this thing out. I can't believe this thing had cruise control on a 70. And then parking brake cables are all here. I love the parking brake stuff on here. The rest looks a lot like my 620. This cross member is really goofy. This tranny mount. It's kind of goofy. Uh, let's see what else. The rest looks like 620 stuff to me. Front suspension, kingpin. What else is weird about here? I don't know what this bracket is. I have no idea what this big tab is. I don't know if somebody welded it on or that's for something. Somebody shoved the rubber hose through here. I can't get out. Yeah, these actually, these anchors for the torsion bar, these look like solid forged steel or something different than the stamp steel. All the other trucks have. Uh, what else was weird about here? This is the first. See, it's kind of funny. Of all my trucks, my 620, my 720s, my D21s, WD21s, R50s, Armadas, all the gas tanks are on the right side of the truck. Now my Frontier D40, right there in the black, it's the first. Nissan Dots that I've ever had with the gas tanks on the left side. Now this truck, 1970, the gas tank is on the left side. So it's funny, my oldest truck and my newest truck, they're on the same side. That's convenient for me. But uh, it's kind of odd. You got the little fuel, little door to check your fuel cylinder from above. They got rid of that in the newer trucks. But yeah, I remember my 620, the tank was mounted to the bed. I think 720s is when they start mounting them to the frame. All my tool drive and four-wheel drives. Uh, H190 looks the same as all of them. Looks it's pretty much similar. Typical ladder frame, 100% ladder. Down the end. I gotta bolt this thing back on. Oh! Yeah, so on the other thing I can't figure out is the hinges for the tailgate are missing. Let's see, where are they? So, this tailgate, there's nothing holding it on except for these handles. Oh, I'll drop it. Oh. So, what is the deal here? So, I remember on the 620 tailgate unbolted because I remember taking it off but is there any bolts it's all welded so this is unique the handles on bolt the tailgate the hinges are welded to the tailgate and they're welded to the bed all right sorry the battery died so uh 
There's no pin here. So I don't know what I'm, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a cotter pin or a bolt or a pin. I have no idea. I don't know, I've never had a 521 before, but I'm missing the pin here, so it's gonna be a really long pin. So I gotta see if I can make something or find something. Get my tailgate back on. Oh, I'm missing the chains. Should be chains or something going here. I don't know what came originally on a 521. This is what I'm dealing with. I just got boxes and boxes of bolts and clips and parts and trying to figure out. That looks like a hood rubber. I got parts that say VW on them and Honda and so I just threw all those in the trash. Um, like this box of bolts. There's no way these are for this truck. I think these are all from some other truck, I think. This looks like the tail light harness. We got electronic ignition for this. Uh, it looks like the voltage regulator. A newer version. Just got all these bolts I'm still trying to figure out. All these wheel bearings, wheel sounders. So here's all the body mounts. So I'm trying to figure out. I think, I think these are the bed bolts. I found five of the eight, whatever there is, six or eight. There's eight bolts. If there's six, I found a bunch of those bolts. This looks like the old cab bolts. I got three of these. These look like the front. I think these are the middle. I don't know what, I don't know. I'm going to order a new set of body mounts, but I found six bolts for the cab. So those are probably the right six bolts. Um, here's my wheel bearing issue. I was able to find some new bearings and boxes for the other side and pressed them in, pressed in a new race, but this one doesn't fit. I got some new seals and stuff, but yeah, this, this is a different diameter. I gotta measure this. Timpkin 30206M. The old race is missing. It's just the truck was rolling, but oh, I just had a bearing in there. What's this? Japan 3 2k B02. So, yes, yeah, so this bearing doesn't even fit in that race. So, I need to look up a new bearing. So, we get a new bearing for this side. I got two other new ones for. I don't even know what I stuck on the other side. I just found a box, stuck it in, it fit, and I pressed it in. Greased it and pressed it. Uh, just know there's a big hole here. What the hell is this for? That's interesting. I don't think that exists on the other side. Uh, yeah, I definitely need another logo. That's going to be hard to find, maybe. This thing was unbolted, and it's got six bolts plus the bolts are across the top. Can't find those, but I did find the six. I found four bolts for here. Can't find the bottom two bolts. I got a bunch of bolts. I don't know where they go. I got all the bolts for the drive shaft. I don't know what these bolts go to. They almost look like head bolts or something. They're almost big enough for the tailgate. It looks like brand new brake pads. Oh, and I, I'm thinking these brake pads run upside down. This one looks I'm pretty sure that you want the meatiest part up here. The, so the push is on here. I think you're supposed to have. I think this should be. I think, I think this one goes here because that's fatter. Because the piston grabs here and throws it back here. And you need more more pad down here. I think these pads are on backwards. I remember that from the old high school days. Uh, I haven't done drum front brakes in a long time, but I'm pretty sure these are on backwards. The other side was the same way backwards. Um. I'm still trying to figure out. Find a little piece of the grill. That's the other thing. I think that's everything. Yeah, the fuse box goes over there. I found this spring in the steering column, but I don't think it goes in the steering column. It was in that shaft. That shaft was a part when I bought it. I had to put that back together. So I had to drop the pitman arm. I accidentally knocked this seal out. I gotta take the steering box out. Cause I kind of messed it up. I'm trying to put it back together. I dropped the pivot arm last night. 
to uh, get that shaft out to put it back together. And now I notice there's no little nut on the pitman arm. I don't know if I have an extra one from my old boxes. But uh, yeah, I'm missing the pitman arm nut. <laughs> kind of a weird thing to be missing. But all these bushings look original. The speedometer says 49,000. I have no idea how many miles are actually on this truck. Uh, the suspension all feels very tight. Looks like it's kind of old, but it doesn't actually look, there's not actually any play in any suspension or steering, which is amazing. Um, yeah, I found the wipers. I think that's it. For the, oh, here's the carburetor. Here's the interesting thing. Somebody put some kind of weird carb on here. Made a custom mount. Um, so, like I said, I can't find the carburetor. I think it's supposed to come with one. Got two sets of horns. Is this factory? I don't remember. It almost looks like somebody mounted the horns like this. I think in the pictures I've seen, there was a horn here and a horn here. Oh, maybe? This looks like it's all smashed down. Maybe they did have a big AC compressor here and it was hitting this or something? I have no idea. Maybe they smashed this and relocated the horns when they put AC on here. Because when I had AC on my 74, it was a flipping big York compressor, like 210 or something. It was like that tall. I bet there was one of those in here back in the 70s. And they relocated the horns. But, um, just the PCV hose, I remember that. Oh, I'm missing half the air cleaner lid. But... This is a, I put a lot of Weber's and Solex's on my old 620's and 720's. I had a smog legal Weber on my California 620. But this adapter is, I don't know, this whole made or what? This looks very unique. Uh, instead of the traditional two pieces or three pieces, it's actually like a step. I've never seen one like this on anything. So, I don't know if somebody made this. The bolts don't really fit in there very well. It's like they ground this down. I'm gonna take this off. I'm debating whether or not to buy a Solex, like a two barrel Weber, again, like I've had in the past with the adapters, or I kind of like to do a four barrel, uh, like side draft for a while. I don't know. Probably just do another Weber. Um, just for now. Eventually I'll put a fuel injected engine in it. So uh yeah, I gotta take the steering box back out and try to get this thing. I gotta get that plug back on the front. I knocked it out. I'm trying to fix the box. Uh let's see. So at least I have steering now. When I bought the truck it had no brakes, no steering. Fairly ruled. I think the steering actually. Uh oh. It's not actually working. Oh, stop for, I forgot the steering wheel is not working. You know why it's not working? I took the pitman arm off last night. So I gotta line that back up. I do have the steering actually working. I had to kit it off the trailer into the garage with no steering, no brakes. Uh, that was fun. But um, I guess these things down. Is this how they came? Yeah, probably. This looks like the original hose. Everything seems original in this thing. Can't believe it. I think in the old days, yeah, it looks like the hose just dumped on the ground. I don't even know if my 74 had an overflow bottle. And I think there's a windshield wiper bottle that's supposed to hang on these hooks over here. Yeah, it kind of hangs here. I don't have that, which is no big deal. Put a modern one in. I do want to redesign this battery tray though. This thing is huge. I know a lot of people put the battery in the bed. This thing's welded on. But um it looks like it's in perfect shape. I hate to change it, but I took the cap off. Just to check the points. Oh, get out of the way. There I go. But I'm thinking about cutting this battery tray off. 
which is in perfect shape, which drilling out all the spot welds and make it a bolt on. But what I really want to do is I want to make it removable because this seems like it's in the way of getting to this stuff. But I like to make it smaller, like skinnier, and um, you know, this way and that way, lengthwise, lengthwise. It just seems so big. All my 620s and every truck I've got and my battery is right here. And my fuel thing was usually over here. I wonder if I can move the battery up into this area where it is on like my D40 and D21, 720, whatever. 620, the battery is always here. It just seems like a, when I put the battery there, it just seems like it blocks access to everything. I don't know. But I think that's it. For a little intro. I don't know what color this is. I don't know, can't read the tag. It's pretty straight. So comment down below if you know the answers to any of my questions. Uh, like the tailgate, bolts, whatever. They, it's supposed to be a bolt or a pin or a cotter pin or whatever. Uh, yeah, this is an L16, so that's the original engine. Seems like it's a 4-speed. That's original. Original H190 rear end. Seems like it's all original. I'm assuming those are original mirrors. Uh, yeah, I think I've got all the parts. Alright, so... Um, I guess at the end of this video. Stay tuned if you want to see future plans. I'm planning on doing... Disc brakes of some sort, either D21 hard body knuckles or um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do on the front. I may change it to ball joint. I don't know. I may just do the disc brake swap. Got a couple of different ideas for the back. I'll see you on the next one.